just a few years, Coney Island will transform into a music venue. That's what the owners of the park announced yesterday. And now WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian is live out there at Coney Island. Anna, you've been talking with people today about the impact this is going to have on our area. Tanya, I have and people definitely have mixed feelings about Coney Island here closing, but everyone I talked with today seems to agree. Riverbend needs to be replaced, so that's what the owners of Coney Island say they're doing. From Jimmy Buffett to Maroon 5, thousands of artists have played Riverbend in the last 40 years. But talk to music fans and you'll hear this. A lot of people already know that Riverbend needs a little help. Music and Event Management Incorporated wants to give the venue that help by building a venue with a similar capacity at Coney Island. There are already more than 16 music venues in Greater Cincinnati with a capacity over a thousand. So you might be wondering why Cincinnati needs another one. We're not adding to the, the music scene with another venue. We're pretty much um, replacing Riverbend Music Center with a uh, Riverbend 2.0 bigger and better version. As of now, Riverbend isn't going anywhere. The goal is for the new venue to open up the door to festivals using the old and new venues plus the nearby PNC Pavilion. This is part of the reason MEMI says it's building a new venue rather than tearing down the old one. And many festivals like Bunbury have come and gone in Cincinnati. So while MEMI says it's not sure why some festivals haven't been able to stick around, they think this new campus could attract more to our area. It's going to make it more cost effective to do festivals. Um, whenever you have to put up temporary staging and bring in portalettes and everything is just like, you know, not permanent, it always costs more. So to MEMI, having the permanent infrastructure will be a plus. And they're not the only ones who think this project is a positive. It's a tired facility. It needs some love. It needs some new investment to make it uh, an attraction that we can get the best musical acts. Jeff Birding, the chair for Visit Cincy, says while we have several other music venues, this doesn't create too much competition with the others. All these music venues are different sizes, and so you can go as large as 60,000 plus at Paycor Stadium, a little bit smaller at the Reds Ballpark. Um, we've had music at uh, TQL Stadium, uh, River Bend's a different size. The now, Riverbend also has a reputation for having traffic issues. It's something MEMI says it's been working on over the last couple of years. And coming up at 6, I'll tell you how it plans to address this once that new music venue opens up here at Coney Island. Anna Izalian, WCPO 9 News. Anna, thank